Today we are going to manage the NetScaler using TechX. And to do this, first thing we're going to do here is after you log in, you're going to add the NetScaler. So let's do that. Click on Network Devices here. And I'm going to click on Create. Type in Netscaler, the IP address of the Netscaler, protocol you're going to use, today we're going to use TechX, click Submit, oh, I forgot to do the uh, secret. Don't forget to do that. Hit submit. All right. So now you have your Netscaler. So now I'm going to join an AD domain. Do that. Here. Put in your credentials that you want to bind with. Join. Alright, so now we're joined. Click on directory groups and we're going to use this option to add the groups that we want to use to administer with. So we're going to click on select and this should bring up all of the groups in your DC. I'm only choosing two for this demonstration and it's admin which is going to be used for super users and I also have domain users for read only okay hit OK um, also I want to mention if you click on select again that if you have a lot of groups and you already know the group that you used you can also put the name of the group here and then do a search by hitting go. Okay? Well, I don't have that many, so that's fine. All right, save changes. All right, so now that I have the groups that I need, I am going to go to the policies that I'm going to implement. I will only be doing command sets, no shell profiles. So I'm going to create a command set policy here. If you don't, it'll be denied. I'm going to create one called super user. And for this command set, I am going to choose permit any command. Okay, so that will hit submit. Now I'm going to create another command set called a read-only. And for this I'm only going to be doing show commands only. You can be more granular if you want and actually put arguments that you want to choose. Like if you want to do like show LB only, you can do that. I don't want to do that. I want to be able to show everything, so I'm putting no arguments here. I'm going to hit Add, and that's it. Hit Submit. 
So I have read only and I have super user. Okay, got me? So I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna go to the next section here. And in the next section, we're gonna be creating access services. Okay, so you're gonna see here that there's two default ones. I'm gonna create one. I'm gonna call it NetScaler Access. And we're gonna be choosing a template. The template we're using today will be command off. Hit OK. Next. And when you hit next, it's gonna ask you what protocol you want to use. Just leave the default. Finish. And this is going to take you to the policy section. Just say yes. Okay, so now that I've created the access services, it's going to ask me to set up a rule, okay? So the rules are already here, as you can see. Um, I'm only gonna be using TACAX, and since TACAX is already, since there's a rule for TACAX already, so I'm gonna just use that one. If there wasn't one here, you could have just hit create, and, you know, chose TACAX like so. Okay, but there was one here already, so I'm just going to cancel that. So click on this guy, and all I got to do now is change it from the default policy that I created, that was created for me, and I'm going to change it to the one that I created, which is NetScaler Access. I'm going to hit OK. Save. And as you can see, now it's green. I'm going to click on Identity, create a rule for Identity, say OK, choose Customize, because if you don't, let's just hit Create and I'll show you, it has this default compound condition that I can't use, so I'm going to cancel that, I'm going to hit Customize, I'm going to remove Compound and I'm going to choose protocol. Okay, hit OK. Now I can hit create. Change this to rule one if you want. That's fine. Protocol I'm using, of course, is going to be TechX. Hit OK. And the identity source, as you can see when you hit select, it's going to allow you to choose what type of authentication you're going to be using. And as I said earlier, we're going to be using AD. So that's the one we're going to be using. Hit OK. OK again. And that's it. So this has to be true in order for the rule to take place. Basically, that's what this is saying. OK, so now we're going to go to authentication. Authorization, I mean. Oh, I forgot to hit save. If you don't hit save, that's what happens. All right. So hit create. Again, as you can see, there's nothing here that I can use. So I'm going to hit customize. I'm going to remove everything here. That's how you do that. And I just want to use AD. That's all I want. That's all I care about is just AD. I don't care about anything else. You can choose protocol if you want and all that stuff, but I'm only doing my rule based on the external groups that I provided that I provided to the TACAC server. Okay, so I hit OK. Hit Create. Again, you want to change this to rule one, you can do that. All right, so we're going to click on AD, the check mark right here, leave it on contains any, hit select, and as you can see there's the two groups that I selected earlier. This will be super user, so I'm going to choose NSAdmin and hit OK. And I'm going to select super user. Pretty simple. So I have this group 
here for the AD and the command set I'm going to be using is super user. Hit OK. Now I'm going to create the other rule. The other rule will be for read only. So that will be rule 2. Choose the other guy, domain admins. Hit OK. Select. And then we'll use read only. OK. Hit OK. Hit OK again. All right. So now I have two. NS admin is for super user and domain users is for read only. All right. Hit save. And you're done on the tech X side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Netscaler. Alright, I'm going to look at the configuration in this guy. Okay. And so authentication here, tech X. And this is basically simple right here. You're just going to make sure this is globally bound, which is already done. Um, click on global bindings and just choose the one that you want to bind globally. Done. And services here. So the servers are going to be the server that IP address of the TechX server. Click on that. I'm going to edit this to show you how it's set up. IP address port. The key that we the shared key that we put in the TACK server has to be the same here. Authorization is on, accounting is on. And of course it's gonna log anything that has failed. So you're gonna hit OK. Alright. I'm gonna log off. I'm going to log in first using super user group username. All right. So now I am able to log in. I'm going to go to the load balancer. I'm going to actually create one. Call this guy test. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. IP address doesn't matter. Hit OK. Continue. Boom. Add it, but no problem. So now I'm going to remove it. OK. And I'm going to log out. I'm going to log in as just a domain user. I remember the password. All right, so I'm able to log in. And we're going to do the same test. Virtual server, add, test, one, two, three. One, four, same name, everything. Gonna hit OK. And as you can see here, I got an error message saying I cannot create anything. All right, so basically now what's going on is that I can see everything, but I can't create or modify. All right, so I'm gonna hit cancel. And then go ahead and log out. And that is it. And if you want, you can uh, check the logs and so forth and so on, but that's it. It, it works.
and I can even show you the hit count. Refresh. So both policies got hit. You see that? So it's working. 